एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास सो टुडे वी आर हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स आर सेक्शन थ्री ओके द यूनिट इज सेम यूनिट सिक्स एंड वी आर हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स आर सेक्शन थ्री दैट इज कर्नल फिजैक्ले बटरवर्थ टोस्ट ओके वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ पोएम विच इज अगेन अ ह्यूमरियस पोएम ओके विच इज रिटन बाई चार्ल्स कॉजले ओके here he describes about the failure of a ghost last chapter in last uh, section we have seen how the ghost was given up his haunting right here ghost was defeated where we are going to see the failure of a ghost to frighten a man whose name was colonel frizackley okay he was the like owner of the new castle he bought that and nobody informed him about the ghost okay and when he was going to have some dinner okay there he found there he met he felt the appearance of that particular uh, spectre okay ghost okay which came from the chimney and tries to scare him at last also okay means he gave up all the possible way to scare that man old man colonel frizackle okay so uh, we'll begin the poem we'll explain the poem stanzas okay so uh, again we are going to see a supernatural thing last in two sections we have seen in the first section it was about the lops girl how he came to visit him after that also in section 2 we have seen how the twins and the family members deal with that um, sir simon okay and now we are going to see colonel frizackle how he is going to do how he is going to face that particular spectre okay let's see and as i said this poem is also a humorous poem now let's begin to the poem lines Colonel Frizackle Butterworth Toast bought an old castle complete with a ghost but someone or other forgot to declare to Colonel Frizack that the spectre was there you know what happened when Colonel Frizackle went to buy that old castle okay it was completely filled with the ghost it was completely filled with the ghost but nobody nobody said him nobody uh, tell uh, told him anything about the ghost okay and forgot to declare uh, about the ghost okay and that uh, spectre was there inside the in the castle on the very first evening while waiting to dine the colonel was taking a fine sherry wine when the ghost with a furious flash and a flare shot out of the chimney and shivered be aware you know what happened in the second stanza in the second stanza on the very first evening okay by like uh, after buying this castle colonel frizackle was waiting for his dinner diamonds dinner okay he was waiting for his dinner and he was taking some fine sherry wine at that time what he noticed he noticed something which came out of that chimney that was a furious flash and a flare and who was that it was the ghost it was the ghost and you know what when he came out of the chimney he shivered he made some noise okay that noise has a word the word was what it was be aware right colonel frizackle put down his glass no 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 he was not scared he was not scared that he put his glass on the table no he didn't the, that but and said my dear fellow that's really first class like when he kept the glass on the table he was quite amused he was quite surprised by seeing a ghost with a furious flash okay and he said 
Oh my dear, you did a really great job. It was really first class. I just can't conceive how you do it at all. I imagine you are going to a fancy dress ball. Now, this Colonel Frizak Lee said, Oh, oh, he was appreciating to the ghost that, Oh my dear, what you did was really good. And just tell me, I couldn't understand how you did that. I cannot imagine. I only think I can imagine that maybe you are going to a fancy dress ball. Ball means a party, okay? To a fancy dress party. Maybe you are going there and that's why your dressing style is telling so. At this, the dread ghost made a withering cry. Now, this ghost is making something awful cry, said the colonel with his monocle firm in his eye. It means what? A one eye, as you can see in the picture, okay? In the picture of this uh, colonel Frizakli, he won a, he won a spectacle, okay? Which uh, is only in one eye and the mono means uh, a single eye spectacles he used in his eye okay and with his firm eyes he said now just how you do it I wish I could think do sit down and tell me and please have a drink and what he is having okay sherry wine he was having a sherry wine now and he offered that sherry wine to that ghost okay and said what and said him to tell sit down and tell me that how you did that all how you came from the chimney how you mm, cry uh, with the withering cry how you are making some awful cry how why you having uh, this uh, fancy dress ball uh, why why you are having this all come sit down and tell me why you are going what you are going to do and how you do it the ghost in his prosper clock gave a roar and floated about between ceiling and floor now this ghost was totally disturbed and confused why this man is not ready to scale because i'm the ghost i'm the ghost and he is not scared how did this happen and after this he made a great roar okay and then he floated about sleeling and between the roof okay after this wo hawa mein udne laga and he also walked through a wall means wo ek dewal ke through gaya and wapas wo पेन विंडो से बाहर अंदर आया ओके एंड देन वो चिमनी के अंदर वापस गया और चिमनी से वापस बाहर आया एंड दिस वर द थिंग्स ही वॉज शोइंग फॉर द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ अ गोस्ट ओके ही वॉज मेकिंग द शाइन टू मेक दिस कर्नल बिलीव दैट आई एम अ गोस्ट एंड गेट्स केयर बाय मी सेट द कर्नल विद द लाफ्टर आई एम फीलिंग क्वाइट वीक नाउ He was laughing in such amusement that his cheeks were trickling. Okay, good goody or else ke gal me as he was laughing with the, all his might. Okay, and my housewarming party. I hope you won't spurn. You must say you'll come and you'll give us a turn. He said that. Okay, fine. You just. Uh, gave a very good show a very good scene here i'm totally impressed with that and also he said that my house is going is having a warm party to everyone i hope you won't reject that i hope you will come there okay and you'll give us a turn to see again what you did to night what you did today okay and he was just confirming whether he will join again or not because what he saw it was totally funny 
and he said that please come and let's have some let's have some let's have some fun together if you'll come in my house house party at this the poor spectre quite out of his bit proceeded to shake himself almost to bits he rattled his chains and he clattered his bones and he filled the whole castle with mumbles and moans and what he did what he did like when this colonel was not ready to afraid not ready to get scared he made some another plans and what he did he just shake himself okay and also he rattled he was making sound with his chain by moving his chain and also he clattered he moved all the parts of his bones and filled the whole castle with his strange moans okay kehrane ka bahut zor zor se awaaz pure castle mein usne phaila diya to scare that colonel but colonel frizakle just as before was simply delighted and called out anchor means he was totally delighted what the ghost did and he ordered the ghost to repeat that things again okay at which the ghost vanished his efforts in vain and never was seen at the castle again by this the ghost was so miserable so insulted that he left that place he vanished from there okay disappeared from there and because his effort gone wasted and then he never came uh, he never was seen in the castle again but after this all as we know colonel was there in the castle alone and he said oh dear what a pity oh my gosh said colonel fuzak i don't know his name so i can't call him back and then with a smile that was hard to define colonel fuzakly went in to dine okay what happened at last as we remember earlier in the beginning of the poem okay what we have seen that colonel was going to have his dinner and before that he was having some sherry wine okay and after that what happened uh, ghost came out of the chimney okay and he was having so much fun with the ghost and when he went out when he gone out of that house that castle he said oh my god the person who gone i don't know his name how would i call him and then when he left there a strange smile came on colonel frizakly which was really hard to define that why he was laughing and then after this all his dinner was prepared and he went to get some uh, like uh, get dinner inside the castle okay so this was the poem which was written by charles cosley okay just like in the section 2 how sir simon was revealed was like a free from that sins by virginia and the people who were living there was not like really afraid not really scared by sir simon he gave up ha- haunting and here we saw how the ghost was defeated and he gave up haunting to um colonel fuzakle and he went out and he never came back into that castle again okay so this is all about the poem hope you have enjoyed the poem this poem was also full of humorous like the last chapter which was which was the cantrell ghost okay so this is all about the poem let's go and have see some questions uh, which is given here poem appreciation okay now tell me the correct answer in the comment section the mood and tone in the poem is what is the mood and tone in the poem whether it is mysterious or blissful 
or humorous or pitiful what was the tone and mood uh, in the poem it is humorous okay colonel frizakle is dash to meet the ghost how what he felt he was scared confused delighted or upset what he was he was delighted the ghost in the poem is dash the colonel scared of happy with angry with yeah dancing with what he was he was angry with the colonel the ghost in the poem was angry with the colonel okay uh, answer the following questions where does the colonel encounter the ghost okay uh, when he was having in the like maybe um, in the hall uh, when he was going to do about to do dinner is he prepared for this meeting no he was not prepared for his meeting what was the ghost first reaction on seeing colonel frizakle he was uh, his first reaction was that he gave uh, he was shivered and gave said him to be be aware who did the colonel mistake him to be why do you think so um he said uh, him uh, that he was going to have he may be uh, at, was going to attend some um, like fancy dress ball party and why do you think so okay um because uh, he was not uh, ready to uh, accept something like supernatural why did the ghost do to scare what did the uh, ghost do to scare the colonel what are the things uh, was performed by the ghost to scare the colonel so first he was floating from uh, like uh, from the ceiling to the floor and he went out through the wall and came uh, with the pain again he went uh, up uh, with the chimney and he went down with the chimney and later on he was uh, rattling his chain clattering his uh, bones and he made uh, the place filled with his moans why was the colonel feeling weak he was feeling uh, weak just because the performance the scenes what are the works was done by the ghost it was totally like um, uh, delighted uh, it made uh, him so happy that his cheeks uh, began to trickle and he felt uh, really happy and said i'm feeling weak why did the ghost disappear the ghost disappeared just because the uh, he felt insulted by colonel what did the colonel feel why he could not call back the ghost he felt so pity and he said that i don't know his name and without his name i couldn't call him what part of the poem did you find the funniest okay what the part of the poem you find the funniest okay uh, when he said to repeat everything that was my favorite part the funniest part that whatever the things was performed by the ghost uh, the colonel said that please do it again and that's the funniest thing i found in the chapter in the poem okay so this is all about the poem i gave the question answers and also gave the answer of the correct answer hope you have understood i hope you have uh, enjoyed the poem so have a nice day to all and bye everyone take care